different mechanisms. So then these constitute essentially the material transport mechanism lead to both densification and coarsening. So let's first look at uh, the mechanism that leads to coarsening on the left side. And here, previous research uh, labeled uh, three, one, two, and three types of mechanism. The first one is going through material evaporate and then going through gas phase condense, condense well to the neck. Evaporate from the surface, you have small positive curvature condensed into the neck, going through gas phase. Okay, that's mechanism one. Another route is two, people call it so-called surface diffusion. The atoms move along the surface, does not go into the gas vapor phase, but move along the surface, but still go from surface into so-called neck location. Okay. And the third one is, we said the other way, due to the vacancy, right? For example, going from the surface into the neck location. But what people find is all these three different uh, mechanisms only lead to coarsening, makes the particles larger, but not so much make the pores disappear, makes the pores. It just try to make the sharper tip smoother, no longer sharper, that's it. But there's no reduction in the distance from center for one particle to the center for the other, other particle. You can imagine I have a lot of protrusion and in the end all of those protrusions are gone and this become flat but from center to center distance is remains. Okay. In comparison there are another two or three mechanisms that leads to densification. The first one people call number four. What is that? This is people call GB or green boundary diffusion. From well to well, from the sun, from the center of the green boundary to the neck. Okay, from the center to the neck. The other one is lattice diffusion from green boundary location center towards the leg, neck. But instead of going along green boundary, it goes into the lattice or bulk of the material and then go to the back. But these two, if you imagine the material that are initially here goes towards the neck, what happens to the two center? If the material move from here to here and to here, what happens to the distance between these two centers? If you think a little bit, they are actually come together because the material that reside in here are moving away. Of course, the two would come together. And this would so-called lead to densification. The particles are coming closer together. That's how you eliminate the porosities. Okay. And uh, a, f a further one that is not exactly here plotted is due to plastic, also called a viscous flow to the neck. The material change shape due to what uh, external applied pressure or something remove the prostate in between here. So these three mechanisms people generally believe will lead to densification instead of just causing on the other hand, if their material has a high tendency to evaporate, well, your material doesn't densify as much. Your material would quickly eliminate the sharp protrusion out, but doesn't center. The distance from particle to particle 
does not change, remains the same, except this curved surface now become more flat. Make sense? So ideally, we want something like this. The mechanism on the right. Okay. The stuff moving between green boundaries to the neck location. 